If you're trying to figure out how to learn your major scales on the saxophone, in this lesson I'm going to show you exactly how I did this and how I teach my students to do it step by step so they're not getting overwhelmed, they're not getting confused. It's all inside this lesson. So the number one scale that you should be learning as a saxophone player, especially if you're in the beginning stages, is the G major scale for your sax. So the G major scale is in the middle range of the saxophone and you should be trying to learn this scale in just one octave. So this applies to any saxophone whether you play alto, tenor, baritone or soprano and I'm going to show you what those fingerings are and why they are so important for learning as a beginner. So here are the fingerings of the first scale that you should learn on the sax. <laughs> So they were the fingerings for G major, but if you want to get more guidance on how to learn the different fingerings of all the different major scales, you should check out my free major scales cheat sheets. There's a link below. Just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash major scales. So the reason I like to teach this as a first scale is because we're in the middle range of the saxophone. We're just going from that G without the octave key all the way up to G with the octave key. And this is the best range to start with on the sax. That's because if you start going higher on the sax, start going lower on the sax, especially in the first few weeks, few months of playing the saxophone, you're not going to be able to get it. It's going to be really hard to get those notes and you're just going to start getting frustrated. But not only that, you actually want to be focusing in on how to get a good tone on the sax in the beginning stages. And the middle range is the easiest way to do that. So you can focus on your embouchure, you can focus on your breast support, and you can start playing all these notes consistently without squeaking, without running out of breath. The other reason is that you can learn a lot of songs with just this one octave range within the G major scale. You can learn When the Saints Go Marching In, you can learn Mary Had a Little Lamb, you can learn Amazing Grace. So in my beginner course, Saxophone Success, I actually teach like 10 different songs in this one octave range, just so you can start feeling good about playing the sax, learning different songs that you know and love, and just build a little bit more confidence with getting consistent tone. But as you're developing your skills in the sax, you wanna start learning new scales. And the way I like to teach new scales is by expanding the range in which you play those scales. So the next scale that I would teach is actually gonna be the F major scale. And that's because we're gonna start going lower below that low G like this. So that would be the next scale that I learned because now we're expanding the range on the sax and we can just go down to that low F, go all the way up to the F with the octave key and back down again. And so there's a strategic way here of learning your scales. You wanna use scales to help you with expanding your range on the sax and start understanding all the different fingerings on the sax as well. So the next scale I would teach my students is the D major scale and that starts on the low D and has two sharps. F sharp and C sharp. Let me show you what they are. So now we're getting down to that low D, which is a little hard to get, especially as a beginner, but this is gonna help you with improving your low notes on the saxophone. So now we know G major, F major, and D major. The next scale I would teach is the C major scale so that we can go even lower down to the low C. Let me show you what it is. So now we're gonna go down all the way to this low C here. Three fingers on the left hand, three fingers on the right hand, and the low C, and we're just gonna go up to the middle C like this. So now we're getting even lower on the sax. This is where it gets even more difficult, but this is why I don't teach C major as the first scale. On a lot of different instruments, C major might be the first scale that you learn, especially on the piano, because it's all the white keys on the piano. On the saxophone, I don't like to teach C major as the first scale because it's a lot more difficult to get on the sax. 
So now that we know G major, F major, D major, and C major, we're actually starting to form what's called the cycle of fifths. And the cycle of fifths is just a way of organizing the 12 different keys in Western music as a sequence of fifths. So what do I mean by that? I mean that if you start on C and you go up the C major scale, C, D, E, F, G, now we get to the G major scale. If you go a fifth up from G, G, A, B, C, D, we get to the D major scale. And the opposite is true. If we go down from C, C, B, A, G, F, now we get the F major scale. So these are the four scales that I've been teaching you so far, and it's all organized around the cycle of fifths. So what we wanna do now is go up a fifth from the D major scale and start playing the A major scale. This is now the next scale in the cycle of fifths. Again, if you wanna learn more about the cycle of fifths, you should check out my free major scales cheat sheets. There's a link below, just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash major scales. So this is kind of an advanced concept, and this is what's gonna help you with understanding the key signature of these different scales. So for example, C major has no sharps or flats. If we go up a fifth to G major, it has one sharp. If we go up a fifth to D major, it has two sharps. And as we keep going up a fifth, we're gonna increase the number of sharps. So if we go from D up to A major, now we have three sharps in A major. And that's the next scale I'm gonna show you on the saxophone. So A major has three sharps, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. And we're playing the G sharp, which is this key here. So three fingers in the left hand and this top spatula key with the octave key on the back. This also works without the octave key in the lower range. So the A major would be the next scale I teach after teaching G major, F major, D major, and C major, because now we're going up higher on the saxophone. We're going up to the high A, which starts to get more difficult as well. But not only that, we're learning a new note. We're learning the G sharp note. So we've almost learned every fingering on the saxophone with just these five scales. So now we're gonna go back to our F major scale and we're gonna go a fifth down from F, which would be B flat. So instead of going through the cycle of fifths where we go to the next note after A, which would be A, B, C sharp, D, and E, instead of going to E major, we're actually gonna go backwards from F. So we're gonna go down the F major scale, F, E, D, C, and then B flat. We're gonna learn B flat, which is a fifth down from F. So here are the notes of B flat major. We're gonna start on the bis B flat. So we're starting on bis B flat, which is this B key plus this little key in between B and A. This is bis B flat. And we're gonna go up the B flat major scale, and we're gonna introduce a new note, which is E flat, this top key here above the low C. So now we're going up even higher to that high B flat with the octave key. So again, this is just a great way to expand your range on the sax and start learning different fingerings on the saxophone as well. So with the B flat major scale, we actually introduced the E flat key. So at this point, we now know almost every single fingering on the sax, except for all the spatula keys over here and all these palm keys over here. The palm keys are for the higher notes and the spatula keys down here are for the lower notes. And we're gonna get into those in a second, but this is my approach to teaching scales. And this is what I recommend my students do when they're trying to learn all their major scales on the saxophone. So now we've learned six of the 12 major scales in music and we've almost learned all the different fingerings on the entire saxophone. And this is what I recommend if you're starting to learn your scales on sax. Again, if you wanna get my saxophone scale cheat sheets to help you with all of this, you should check out my free major scales cheat sheets. There's a link below, just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash major scales. I give you all the information you need to start learning all your major scales on the sax. So this is how you should learn your scales on a saxophone and just continue around the cycle of fifths. Go from A up to E, A, B, C sharp, D, E. Start learning your E major scale. Go from E up to B, E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B. Learn your B major scale. Go from B up to F sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, E and F sharp. Go from F sharp up to C sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B, then C sharp, etc., etc., until you finish the cycle of fifths and learn all 12 major scales. But those are the six easiest scales you can learn on the sax. Start with G major, F major, D major, C major, A major, 
B flat major, and then continue from there. That's gonna help you with learning your fingerings on the saxophone, and you can even take those scales and start learning even more fingerings down in the lower range and up in the high palm key range. So let's say we take the notes of D major, but this time we're gonna do two octaves, and we're gonna go all the way up to the high D palm key. So the high D palm key is this key here, it's the one closest to you, and you press that along with the octave key to play the high D and we're gonna play the low D all the way up the scale to D, then all the way up the scale again to the high D palm key. So now we can start learning our palm keys by just doing two octaves on some of these scales. We can do the same thing with the low notes by learning our B flat major scale in two octaves. Let me show you what I mean. So now that we know low C, which is three fingers on the left hand, three fingers on the right, and this low C, we can now go down to the low B flat, which is this bottom key here. This is a spatula key, and it presses down these two notes on the side of the sax where the bell is. So we can press all those keys and this low B flat and start playing the B flat major scale in two octaves like this. And this is a great way to start practicing your low notes on the sax. Use the B flat major scale to get that low B flat note and start trying to play from the low octave all the way up to the high octave and then go back down again as well. When you're practicing your scales, you should practice ascending and descending. It's really gonna help with improving your technique on the sax and really help you with internalizing your fingerings as well. So that's all I wanted to show you in this lesson. If you wanna learn more about how to practice scales and the different ways that you can practice scales, check out this next lesson here where I show you a couple of simple techniques for practicing your scales on the sax. Go ahead and check that out and until next time happy playing.